so here we are uh, with a patient who is going to uh, undergo a rhinoplasty surgery today uh, as you can see here these are hair follicles so the grafts which ha we have implanted almost three days back uh, so what i'm trying to say here is uh, although you are planning for multiple surgeries it is possible along with a hair transplant uh, Maybe a beard or moustache transplant would be a little tricky, uh, but however, if uh, planned um, well, then it can be executed. So people who are looking for multiple surgeries and thinking, oh no, I'll come three months later, uh, there's nothing like that, it can be done. During the surgery, however, we are going to um, keep this area moist. We are going to irrigate the area every now and then during the rhinoplasty. Um, so let me come to the nose and explain uh, as to what is his chief concern why he is undergoing the rhinoplasty. He is complaining of a deviated nose as you can see septum is deviated to the right. Also can you look up sir? Yeah. His uh, columella is also deviated, nostril asymmetry is prominent and if he looks to the side you can see a mild dorsal hump there that needs to re be reduced. Uh, the radix is mildly depressed. So all these are, these two are minor corrections, but uh, his nose is broad. Uh, he requires ALR based reduction. ALR plasty is what's going to be done for him. And we are going to make his nose as straight as possible. So this uh, is going to be a cosmetic rhinoplasty. Um, do you have any breathing difficulty? Yeah. Sometimes? Sometimes. Right. Which side is more? Right side is more. Right side is more. So again, a functional rhinoplasty and a cosmetic rhinoplasty. Uh, and we'll be taking care of the grafts when we are doing the surgery. So this surgery is scheduled some, um, some time later today. And... Uh, it will take us oh, around two and a half to three hours and he should be in the ICU uh, but there will be no diet restrictions uh, so just a few dressings over the nose and he'll be good to go. To start this cosmetic rhinoplasty you can see he has a small nasal hump, a dorsal hump. Apart from that he has thick skin and we're also going to be working on the dorsum see this now there's a deviation working on that there's a thick skin reduce the bulbosity we're going to make the nose a little bit more proportional with this rhinoplasty this was a augmentative cosmetic south indian or a dravidian type of nose job we're going to show you the before now he had super thick skin and you can see how he was before we started So we've done radix augmentation, nasal osteotomy, rib harvest. He had breathing issues too. So you can see now the before and after in the same view. Moved. That was in before. It was really broad, broad. We had to use marginal rim grafts, various tip grafts, columnar grafts, struts.
So we are removing the nasal splint for this gentleman. We've done rhinoplasty for him. We also did hair transplantation. You can see that we've got the lower hairline a little bit more lower. So that's something we did a couple of days, three days before we did the rhinoplasty. And now you can show the before while I. So he wanted us to improve the dorsum. Sorry about that. I'm just done. Oh. You can see. One second. I think it's beautiful. Come, have a look. So what do you think? It's nice? Yeah, it's actually quite nice. See, because you had very, very thick nasal skin, you know, in spite of that, we've been able to give you a pretty nice proportion. You remember I told you we need to lengthen your nose? See the length now. No, you see the mirror, you can see both. Now you see the difference. Right? Then, you remember I told you this area is depressed. Now, this is little extra, the way it looks now. It's going to come down when the swelling comes down, okay? Then the tip. See the tip. I won't say it's very pointy, but it's going to be more proportional and much more harmonious to your face. Okay? Look at the side view. I think that's the key. That's really beautiful. The other view? Ah, look at that. Now you have a really nice, long, straight dorsum. A good tip. This length is increased. We've narrowed it down. And then there's a nice dorsally aesthetic line. The width of the nose has come down. You can see here how it was. It was undulating and not like really prominent. Yeah? How's your breathing? You're okay? Uh, Much. Okay. It'll take some time. Just one minute. You become alright. How's your rib pain? Rib pain is bearable. Bearable. But how was it one day after surgery? Like severe? Uh, one day after surgery, it's not severe. But it was more than now. More than now. Cool. Yeah, that's nice to know that uh, your pain uh, pain was not too much. And uh, you have to take good care of your nose. You're traveling back today? Today. Cool. So make sure that uh, you take good care, take our precautions. We'll give you a contact number, WhatsApp contact number after surgery. So many patients, even after I say this, go on contacting us on the previous WhatsApp numbers. Okay. Then that becomes messy. Because see, this number is given dedicatedly for patients who've had their treatment here. And that is handled with a doctor. So if you have an issue with swelling, bleeding or any doubt, you know, it will get addressed faster. It will be there on your discharge summary also. Okay. So we'll take off these stitches. Doctor will do that now. And then you're good to leave. <laughs> Alright. See you. Okay, we have to make...